And I think there's a, a couple of things that this will be really useful for. One is just in general to understand, um, you know, the, 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 the cluster seizures or seizures that come in runs are, are something we can really treat. Uh, I think, um, you know, kind of reiterate a little bit, but I think it's important just from, you know, for clinicians to understand is that, you know, some patients, they just don't respond to the, you know, the basic standard anti-epileptic drugs and they have runs of seizures. And if you sit with patients and talk with them, a lot of times that's a real inroad you can make, right? Find a time where they're more likely to have the seizures and give this extra boost of medicine. So the first thing I tell people is to really be on the lookout for these seizures that occur in runs or clusters or acute repetitive seizures been called different things. Um, so it's a treatment strategy. And uh, so that's, that's probably the biggest battle. I think uh, once you get there, then the next one is, uh, there is, and you know, what's great about it, there is a, a treatment avenue for this. So uh, we know from past studies that uh, diazepam works for these kind of seizures. So, um, and uh, you know, the idea to have this, obviously the, um, you know, one, you know, the rectal form of the medication is, works, but it's, it's not easy to give, right? And especially for adults, it works well for children, but for adults, it's really obviously not ideal. So, um, uh, so the nasal spray offers a pretty easy way to, to give this. It's uh, really, uh, it comes in, in an applicator. Uh, you know, what happens is the applicator just, it's pretty, um, pretty straightforward. Patients that put it in their nose and they, they push a, just the bottom of it and it, uh, it administers the medication. Um, so, uh, you know, a usable thing. Patients, uh, you're be able to follow the directions pretty easily. Um, so, that'd be my main messages for that, yeah. Probably one other thing just to say with this is, uh, you know, there, there always are issues that people worry about sedation or respiratory depression or things like that. We didn't see that to a great degree. Uh, one thing I would say is that the patients that did use this, um, you go through and you know, try to work out you know, how much will they need? You know, how many, you know, how many doses will they need and things like that. Uh, in, um, in one of our posters, the open label poster, where we gave patients this to use as they felt they needed, um, you know, within the guidelines of having one seizure a month that it would be useful for, uh, usually they just had to use a single dose. So 92% of patients only had to use a single dose of the medication to, uh, that they felt was helpful enough to stop their run of seizures. So it seems like uh, we have a pretty reasonable clinical dose to give. People tolerate it relatively well. And just encourage people to think about it, you know, as a, uh, you know, just about this entity overall uh, uh, for treatment for patients with refractory epilepsy.